Mod Armory D14 Dual PVS-14 Mounting System. It allows you to mount two standard PVS-14s together in a stereoscopic binocular configuration. The binocular vision gives you significant advantages over a standard binocular. You have depth perception, which makes navigating far easier than in a monocular-based system. Uh, it's folded back against the helmet here. It's, this folds back further and moves the center of gravity back further than any other dual tube system on the market. To use, you simply fold them forward, fold them down. It has a very tight interpupillary distance, just as tight as the standard issue PVS 15s. You can swing one up out of the way, or you can remove it. Pass it off to somebody else as a force multiplier, or use it as a, a, as a weapon mounted PVS 14 while you still have one. We have the D-Lock PVS-14 weapon mount on the, on the PVS-14 here. You simply remove this, place it on a weapon, and if you, if you wanted to, you could then move this PVS-14 back to your dominant eye, if you're right eye dominant, and then when you want to put them back together, you just simply replace those. Take that off the weapon, put it right back on. Now you're right back in place. Get it up and out of the way, folds all back. Nice and out of the so, with the new Mod Armory D14 uh, system, it uh, makes it simple to uh, flip the whole assembly up, fold the uh, pieces back, and get on your gun. Okay, let's talk about the weight of the unit. How much does this add compared to your typical PVS 15s? Well, you combine the weight of the unit, which is five ounces, and the weight of two PVS 14s, which is six ounces more than the 15s, for a, a total combined added weight of 11 ounces. So you're only adding 11 ounces with this whole setup compared to if you were getting the high end PVS 15s, which are over $2,000 more. Yes. And much less versatile. Yes, it shifts the center of gravity as far back as, as is possible, further back than any other dual tube system on the market. The uh, other big advantage of the system is its versatility and ability to break off either of those PVS 14 units. So I can take that one out. Yep, pass so, that off. But even if I only own one unit, I can get this set up and then expand down the road. Absolutely. Six months, a year from now, when I've invested a little bit more money, I can get this and pop it right on and have it. And then that way there I can go from starting out as a monocular and turn it into a binocular setup later. That's correct. And the mounting system allows you to use your single PVS-14 on either, either side. Either side. Right, so I can go the, the dominant, non-dominant, however I want to do it. Uh, you can weapons mount, as you said, so I can take that non-dominant and put it onto the uh, and put the dominant onto the weapon, however I want to do it. Yep, that'll work standard with uh, the D-Lock PVS the D-Lock PVS-14 weapon mounting system. It fits right on there. In fact, it was designed to work with that. The D-14 mount is completely collimatable, just like a set of PVS-15s. Unlike other systems on the market that mount to the infinity focus ring, this, using the monocular mounting arms, allows for repeatable collimation regardless of how many times you take it on and off. The release for the monocular mounting arm, this button here, can be placed on either the inside Or the outside of the system. This is done by the user by simply removing this shoulder bolt and interchanging the receptacles. So whether you have one or two PVS 14s, this system is expandable, scalable, interchangeable with other systems, weapon mountable, and these are in stock ready to ship.
have the D14 dual binocular setup on Lowlight's helmet here. In the left is the RC, in the right is an ITT contract, Omni 7 contract 2. So what are your uh, comparison notes there, Frank? Well, I think the left is definitely better. I mean, it, it's, it's noticeable enough that you're getting the fine detail. Well, I could still see the target with the right, and, and I'm not seeing the fine detail in the, um, in the terrain that I am in the left. So there's definitely a, a better detail with the RC version over the contract tube. The, the difference there is not a resolution difference. It's actually a better low light performance that allows for a better contrast, which allows you to see the finer details.